Hi, Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We are on the ground at Spark Summit 2015 in downtown San Francisco, and we're joined by this next segment by Ariana Gradow, queen of crowd chat at SiliconANGLE Media. Ariana, welcome. Hey, thanks for being here. So you've been a, you've been a very busy lady the last couple of days, really kind of driving a lot of social action around Spark. So I wonder if you could talk about, uh, first off, kind of what has been the, 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 the social mojo around Spark and all the IBM announcements today, and of course a lot of action here at Spark Summit. Yeah, definitely. It seems like Spark is a trending topic. Last week we were at Hadoop, and a lot of the conversations on social media were about Spark. A lot of the conversations in at the summit were about Spark, and it's obviously an important topic. I'm finding that people are really interested in this new platform, especially IBM, who announced yesterday they're la launching all of their, they're launching an entirely new team in San Francisco, and they're going to be using the software for a lot of their new um, developments and training a lot of new developers on the software. So it's, it's definitely a trending topic. I've been using CrowdChat personally to kind of see who's an influencer in this new area, um, finding people through the back-end data, who's talking about Spark, who's interested in this topic and who's active on social. So if you're active on social, I might just reach out to you and get you on the queue. So talk about um, <laughs> kind of the crowd chat app. We often talk about it as kind of a container. Um, how that type of a social experience and the level of engagement you can achieve there with the thread of conversations, bringing in Twitter, LinkedIn, um, and of course Facebook, difference than kind of your typical kind of Twitter stream that flies by, you know, question one, answer one. How does the app really change kind of the level of engagement, kind of the touch with, with the other folks? Well, if I had known this question, I would have done a demo. But <laughs> <laughs> no demos. We only got five minutes. Okay. Well, um, the backend platform is kind of monitoring. We have an algorithm, so we're looking at specific um, keywords and hashtags that people are using and targeting like a broader community in general. So for this, obviously, this community would be the Spark community. So we're looking at big data terms, Hadoop people who are using Spark, Hadoop, and trying to see what they're using in the community. And then we're looking at trending hashtags within that. So to Today I looked, it was Big Data, Hadoop, Spark, um, IBM Insight was trending, and yesterday the Cube was trending because we were pretty active on social. So just seeing in real time what's going on, then we're able to look at what people are saying within the community, and we're also able to search by uh, job title, job description, anything in their keywords. So often I do, I search by mom for all those women who I may have Twitter harassed. I, uh, I look Twitter harassed, that's a new phrase. Moms I and I'm kind of keywording the term moms in tech, finding specific moms in each community, highlighting that they have two jobs in the world and not just right, their specific right. job and, you know, kind of um, tapping onto that whole Anita Borg, highlighting the women that are doing a little bit more and above and beyond the typical range. So that's my new thing, moms in tech. And okay, that's all great tech. But what, I, what I'm more curious about is really the, the way that you can actually engage people, the connection that you make with people in this type of an atmosphere versus kind of this ethereal Twitter stream that kind of flows by and off it, and off it goes. When you have this type of a platform that really contains a conversation in really a room, a place, as opposed to just kind of fleeting by, does, do people connect closer? Is it a tighter level of engagement? What do you think? Yeah, that's great. I thought you were talking about the back-end platform I know, I for the first one. This was a good so, explanation. Um, for the regular crowd chat platform, it's a conversation platform, and you, people can log in through Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Everything's sent to Twitter with the hashtag appended. So for that platform, you're having a, a closed area conversation about a topic that's important to you. So if I'm interested in Spark, we can have a conversation about Spark, and I can, through the platform, know that you or whoever's logged in is also interested in that. Maybe you're talking about something that I'm working on and I can directly engage with you through the platform because I'm seeing that you're working on this, I'm working on this too, let's talk personally after this. You can make a lot of deep connections um, directly through the platform and you have a place to discuss. So you may t be able to talk to people that you might never be able to talk to in real life right. or you might not even know exist. Right. Okay, so last word, uh, how can people learn more about CrowdChat? Where do they go? Um, well, first, you can find me on Twitter at, at Ariana Grado, A-R-I-A-N-A-G-R-A-D-O-W. And um, you can also go to crowdchat.net, and that'll. there are lots of upcoming chats. We have a live chat right now about Spark Summit, and um, we'll be following the Cube throughout the 
entire calendar year doing crowd chats for every cube. So just follow along either at crowdchat.net or siliconangle.tv. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. As we like to say, join the conversation. I'm Jeff Frick with Haryana Gradow. We are on the ground at Spark Summit 2015 in downtown San Francisco. Thanks for watching.